This article is titled Trial Sequential Analysis in Systematic Reviews with Meta-Analysis and was authored by Wetislev J.I.N., Jakobsen Christian Janus, and Glud Christian. We developed a methodology for interpreting meta-analysis results using generally accepted, valid evidence on how to adjust thresholds for significance in randomized clinical trials when the required sample size has not been reached. The Landamets trial sequential monitoring boundaries in trial sequential analysis offer adjusted confidence intervals and restricted thresholds for statistical significance when the diversity adjusted required information size and the corresponding number of required trials for the meta-analysis have not been reached. Trial sequential analysis provides a frequentistic approach to control both type I and type II errors. We define the required information size and the corresponding number of required trials in a meta-analysis and the diversity measure of heterogeneity. We explain the reasons for using trial sequential analysis of meta-analysis when the actual information size fails to reach the required information size. Several empirical studies have demonstrated that the trial sequential analysis provides better control of type I errors and of type II errors than the traditional NAVI meta-analysis. Trial sequential analysis represents analysis of meta-analytic data, with transparent assumptions, and better control of type I and type II errors than the traditional meta-analysis using NAVI unadjusted confidence intervals. We are article.tv. Links in the description below.